watching NBC for New York. This is News for New York. Good morning and welcome back to Weekend Today in New York on a Saturday morning. I'm Pat Battle. And I'm Erica Tarantel. And we begin the show from Queens and a message. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Sally Ann is out in, uh, what's the name of the park, Sally Ann? Where are you? Q Gardens. Q Gardens. Somewhere. Sally Ann? It's Cunningham Park, Cunningham to be Park. exact. Uh -huh. And we are here. Today is National Recycling Day. Did you know that? And these folks that you see driving up behind me are actually doing just that, recycling electronics. This is one of five spots to go uh, that we'll be recycling till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, not only today, but also for tomorrow. And today is the perfect weather to actually look through the closets, get all the old electronics that you no longer use, and bring them here to be properly recycled. Well, you may not think of an old cell phone or computer as toxic waste, but in a sense it is. And today we want to do something to change that, make sure electronic items like that are properly recycled. Sally Ann Mosey is at Cunningham Park in Kew Gardens, Queens, for the Green Screens event presented by NBC Universal, WNBC, and Green NYC. Quite a list. Sally Ann, good morning. Oh, well, Erica, yeah, first I need to thank these guys who were kind enough to take our monitor that we were trying to use earlier today. The numbers weren't coming out so good, so we decided it's time to recycle. And you guys did a great job. Thank you. It's that simple. You just drive up like this folk, these folks are doing right now and drop off some of their recyclables. We're going to talk about what you can and cannot recycle coming in. He is the co-founder and chief marketing officer of Electronics Recycl Recyclers International. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Thank you. Tell us what we can and cannot uh, actually be accepted here? Well, we can accept televisions, computer monitors, laptops, cell phones, DVD players. We cannot recycle batteries, fluorescent light bulbs, as well as hazardous waste items. What happens to these items once they come to you guys? Well, it's the largest electronic recycler in the United States. All of the materials is demanufactured and shredded into three basic commodities. Everything gets torn down into glass, plastics, and metals. That commodity then goes to the manufacturer to make new products. Okay, and that's till 2 o'clock today? Till 2 p.m. today and tomorrow. All right, terrific. So there you have it. Great ideas, and of course, green is universal, time to recycle. Great weather to go and check it out and get all that stuff collected and bring it on down. Five locations and more information on our website. Back to you. Here in Cunningham Park, one of five locations. Just grab this nice gentleman, Alan Lum. What have you recycled today? So far, a TV set, uh, old printer, and uh, two uh, computers and uh, some monitors. Excellent. Just some of the ideas that you could bring and recycle. We'll have more for you coming up when Weekend Today in New York comes right back. Stick around. Your recycling, those electronics down, some e-cycling. Mm -hmm. uh, Sally Ann Mosey's in Cunningham yes. Park with more on that. And your weather forecast, Sally Ann. Yes, the forecast is a little cloudy right now, but the good news is the rain has stopped temporarily, so it's a good time to grab those electronics that you want to recycle and bring them here. Uh, green is universal. Today is National Recycling Day, and this is green screens going on in five boroughs for the next couple of days till 2 o'clock today and also tomorrow. <laughs> got an old computer from the 1990s, one of those dot matrix printers, a clunky phone you need to get rid of, or how about that VCR, Betamax you never even used before, maybe an 8-track, Erica. Right. <laughs> well, there's now a place to dump them safely, and that's where we find Sally Ann Mosey oh. this morning. Sally Ann? You just added to my list. <laughs> I thought I had everything covered, but yeah, we have seen some interesting things already dropped off, some old computers. I have a kind gentleman here, Brian Malarkey. What did you bring with you? Well, actually, I bought this old fashioned Apple computer from the 1980s to be exact. <laughs> Does it work? I have no idea. I found this in the garbage. I figured, you know what? I saw the truck. You know what? Let me recycle it. Excellent. This isn't your first run here today. You were here earlier. Yeah, I was here earlier. I went for a jog. I saw the, everybody around here. Figured, you know, let me go home, look around, donate some stuff, and here it is. All right. Terrific. Thank you so much for donating it. I'll Thank take you. that. Okay. Well, again, good morning. We've seen a pretty good turnout. Can you handle all these folks? Oh, it's wonderful. We want all the electronics we can, we can uh, recycle. You have a few trucks standing by as well. Tell us about that. We're anticipating 400,000 pounds of recycled material to, uh, to help the environment and help New York City. Now, I just heard a list that Pat added to. Again, go through what can and cannot be accepted. We can accept televisions, computer monitors, DVD players, laptops, printers, fax machines, and cell phones. Okay. We cannot accept light bulbs, batteries, and any hazardous waste items. And paints, nothing like that. No paints, All right, no. Terrific. Thank you, Kevin, so much for joining us this morning. Back to you, Erica and Pat. 
Welcome back. Time now to check back in with Sally Ann Mosey. She's in Kew Gardens, Queens for the Green Screens Recycling Event, or as Pat says, E-Cycling e Event. <laughs> People recycling their electronics as they should. Two, <laughs>